I'm Caitlin Bristow. Your session is now starting. Welcome to the <laughs> Rami, you stay right here. Rami. Isn't it sad he looks like an old little man now? Aww. His grays came in so hot. Like He looks very healthy, though. He is. You know? He really is. Oh, my God. Oh, dad, da, honey. There's something so endearing about like a golden retriever with white it's oh just it's so the sweetest it's homeward bound, you know? it's it's homeward like bound. the voice you can so, just hear the voice so you know what you're Ear right oh. <laughs> <laughs> so wait that's American. funny you know what because i was gonna ask what voice you think doug would have oh man um if it was like a celebrity voice and i always have one like i it's like barney for pino 100 percent. <laughs> and then for ramen i'm like i don't know but it's definitely homeward bound yeah dude yeah Peter that's, we, i yeah. mean for doug i feel like i would say like a george clooney yeah like yeah, a, yeah. A ryan reynolds I, I feel like a kevin hart <laughs> oh my gosh yes. please do it kevin hart now that's all i'm gonna see now we just have to get a little clip of doug in the camera and just put kevin hart's voice over it and be like what would he say AI, doug, he'd be like AI i'm rich kevin bitch <laughs> i'm a rich dog oh my god i love it okay i'm so happy to have you on the podcast i'm so happy to be here i can't believe it was 2017 when you were on last. so much life has happened so, so much life so many <laughs> pandemics like just, just we've been through it all over the we last have. so many years and health scares and a lot yes. just a lot has happened in the in the last however many years that is but um you just informed me that you had the flu when you were on my podcast last time and I'm i did not know that happy to be in full health today <laughs> i'm like in a sound mind i'm not clouded by day cold. oh my gosh well i'm sorry i put you through that no, last time it wasn't you god um okay so you started posting Doug eight years ago. Is that what it was? Yeah. So eight years ago. It was at the end of 2014. I was living here in Nashville working at a record label management company. Uh -huh. And I got Doug as a puppy. I had an Instagram that was just my personal Instagram. And very quickly after starting to post him, I realized people want to see Doug. They don't want to see me. <laughs> they were like, Humbling. I would I would post like my life and they'd be like, where's Doug? Where's Doug though? And I'm like, okay, there's something here. <laughs> that is a very humbling and experience. kept posting and posting and now here we are. It just really cascaded and went viral. And this was in the age too where there were no famous animals. There, oh, was, yeah, there no. was like Grumpy Cat, um, others <laughs> remember marnie the dog uh jiff palm but i don't like, remember any of them doug is the only doug is a legend an icon and like the you. dog influencer of our generation like he started the dog influencing do you i would want the credit so bad i'd be like hey i'm the face behind this this is what i do <laughs> because you're like, everyone's just like doug 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 you're yeah like, and that's me <laughs> here i am hey guys that's what's the craziest thing in those eight years that you're like like i'm sure there's so many stories. hundreds of stories but what is the craziest experience that doug has had where ipso facto you get to have the experience shakira flew us to barcelona shit man yeah what and we literally got to go to her house and ride and it was just me doug my husband rob and shakira in a glass elevator going up and we had like this amazing moment and conversation and I was like, how did we get here? What, what, is, what, is, what is life? What turn did I take yeah. in my life to be in a glass elevator with my dog and Shakira? It was an amazing experience. And that's just one of the things. We've, we've gotten to, he's like this incredible little being yeah. that attracts all of these insane things. And he's just lived such a life yeah. that it's, I'm like, what did you do in a past life? To, Truly, to, like, I, what was, I, what's your guess? What do you think Doug did to deserve this life? I mean, he was an emperor of some sort, <laughs> or like, <laughs> I, I feel like he was like a, like he gave back to the community. Yeah. I feel like Doug was like a Mother Teresa oh. in another life, and now he just gets to live Pugger this life Teresa. of like Pugger Teresa. That's what you were, New and Halloween now he costume. gets to just, you know, live this life of fame and fortune and. And have the best dog parents who just spoil the shit out of him in the in the best way, in the healthiest ways. The healthiest ways. I just like he's watching your TV right now, by the way. There's a oh, what am I that TV's still on? <laughs> what are we watching over here? He he actually I don't know if your dogs do this, but Doug watches TV. 
And as soon as an animal comes on, he goes wild. Oh, there he was. <laughs> and it's he's a human. That was actually the first thing that made me realize he was special. Really? I was in college. I got Doug. He was a baby. It was like the day I got him. And the Kardashians was on TV. And he went and he sat in front of the TV and just watched the Kardashians. And I'm like, I mean, what? I get it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's no, I feel like my dogs don't really watch TV. Robin does sometimes. But like if even if there's a, a dog on the TV, I feel like Robin's like, you drinking my water, bro? <laughs> Doug is so bad about drinking water. Really? I was telling you earlier that I had my energy healer clear Robin yes, and Pino's I energy. Need to hear about this. Because I feel like they're going through a heartbreak too, you know? Mom and dad yeah. are splitting up and it's hard on the kids. And so I was like, I just want the dogs to not feel any sort of stress and know that like we're both gonna still take care of you and love you just as much. And so I had this energy healer clear the dog's energy this morning and now that and she was like they're gonna be really thirsty i'm like but is that because it's 100 degrees <laughs> yeah, outside right. or did you, like, like what is it the scorcher <laughs> hey i believe i believe that i it's, know they they hold on to and see so much that we don't even know like when i was going through my health stuff and i will get yeah. into that i was always very concerned about how much <laughs> doug is trying to get on my lap how much i was like even holding him because yeah. i didn't want my energy pain to be and transferred. energy to be transferred it really is a thing and i always get so annoyed at people and they're like well it's just a dog i'm like it's really not and how do you mm. know that how do you right. know they don't absorb all of our emotions and energy like i actually think they're angels sent to this planet to <laughs> heal us and yes like, they and do raise us on... into higher frequencies they I, do yeah and to think that like they can smell thing they, they are experience a whole different uh sense than we are yeah. to a whole different degree they do take us to a higher frequency mm -hmm. i mean there's no doubt about that in my opinion i mean even personally the things that doug has done in my life and rob's life the things that your dogs have done in your life yeah. it's like you think about how they've kind of just helped us through growth and expedited things that without yeah. them it wouldn't have been yeah. as seamless i don't know I'm, I don't know how people like come home to an empty house. Like I will always need a dog mm -hmm. in my life at all times. Look at those babies. Or and how just... people don't like dogs. That okay. is the biggest red flag. Biggest ever. red flag on the planet is somebody doesn't like a dog. But I also am like, obviously a dog must have hurt you in some capacity. Mm -hmm. So, but that, but that, that's on you to not get that healed because dogs yeah. are a blessing. And if you're gonna choose to not like them, I'm more worried about you. My mom was actually attacked when she was 16 was she really? by a dog in the face. <gasps> you would never know now, but she had 22 stitches. Oh, my gosh. And she's the biggest dog lover. I know. She See? she worked through it. She was like, I'm not letting this yeah, you stop can't. my love of dogs. No, you can't. Go Patty. Um, besides Shakira. Did you say go Patty? Yeah. Go Patty, go. <laughs> <laughs> besides Shakira, was there a moment where you're just like, well, JVN is marrying us. Oh, like, my gosh. Like, you just. I'm still not over that. Yeah, what? How did that happen? We met them in L.A. Mm -hmm. and did a photo shoot of them with Doug. Yeah. And it just went so well. Yeah. Like, everyone was in love with each other. Yeah. We're like, this is the best thing ever. Okay, hope to see you again soon. And then wedding planning started, and out of the blue, I sent JVN a photo of Doug, and it had a little sign that said, will you officiate my parents' wedding? And they responded and said yes. Oh, that's amazing. And it was like shut up really you're you're actually gonna come jvn's like tell me where i'll be there yeah literally That's and amazing. i like got so excited but didn't want to get my hopes up i'm like yeah. their lives are changing every single day yeah. i don't want to like you know it's it's it, it's far they came wow. and they were incredible just Something very special. authentic yeah. and magical and beautiful yeah and everything jonathan is doing to just help others and, yeah and even as a business person yeah i'm like watching the jvn hairline oh, it's i'm incredible. like this have is you tried the product so good so good i know and yeah. so very inspired by them yeah for i'm sure. inspired too Alrighty there vinos now step into a world of non-stop action on DraftKings casino you can play the classics like blackjack i love blackjack <laughs> 
<laughs> roulette and slots plus enjoy exclusive games that you can't find anywhere else and right now new customers can get a deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more 100 buckaroos all you have to do is sign up select the offer make your deposit and start playing from a full suite of games your way is the only way to play on DraftKings casino you can play online on your time in your space and within your means it's safe secure and reliable so you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you're ready so download the DraftKings casino app now sign up with promo code vine and new customers get a deposit match of up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more only on DraftKings casino with promo code vine now gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER Michigan New Jersey Pennsylvania West Virginia please play responsibly in partnership with Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races in West Virginia all games regulated by the West Virginia Lottery in Connecticut help is available for problem gambling call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org 21 or over physically present in Connecticut Michigan New York Jersey Pennsylvania West Virginia only void in Ontario one per opted in new customer minimum $5 deposit max match $100 in casino credits which require one time play through within seven days so see terms at casino.draftkings.com slash players choice restrictions apply Okay, you guys know how I love talking about therapy on this podcast, and I love talking about all things relationships. I also love watching reality TV, so put it all together and you've got the new official 90 Day, The Last Resort Sessions. It combines your favorite 90 Day couples and couples therapy, so that sounds interesting. On 90 Day, The Last Resort Sessions from TLC, well-known couples from the show have reached their breaking points. They're all at a retreat in couples therapy, and at the end, they have to decide either to break up or stay together. So after each episode, the couples therapists who are actually in the room with the 90 day couples come onto the podcast to share what happened. So they give their takes on what the couples are each facing, what they're going through and how to deal with issues of cheating, sex and communication in your own relationships. So I mean, everyone deserves a healthy relationship. So come for the drama and stay for the therapy, you know, hey, I'll take the therapy, whatever I can get it. So go listen to 90 day, the last resort sessions, wherever you get your podcasts. You know, how when you meet a or, or when anyone meets a dog, they have a certain voice that they do. Yes. Like, for example, I was just talking to a friend the other day on the phone, and I was like, you to do this whole thing, and Pino had bonked his head, and it, you would have oh. thought it was, like, the end of the world, the way I started, like, crying and talking to baby voice. And my friend was like, well, that's a voice to get used to. And I was like, oh, it's just a dog voice. Like, it's... But what celebrity had the craziest, like, reaction to Doug with, like, oh. their voice went up 30 octaves and just were like... That's a good question. You know who was really cute with Doug was Ed Sheeran. Oh! Because it was the accent. And holding him like a baby. Oh, Ed. He was like, oh, it's Doug the Pook. Wait, Ed Sheeran actually... My, uh, Ramen met Ed Sheeran by mm -hmm. accident. On my birthday, when I think I was turning 33, I was in L.A., and we were going somewhere, and I opened the hotel door, and R Ramen ran out and bumped into three dudes. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And Ed was like, oh, I love dogs. And, like, gave him a little pet and kept walking. And I was like, that's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy how that happens. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? Ed's Ramen's... good. Ed's a dog lover. Yeah. Who else is really good with Doug? <sighs> Billie Eilish loved Doug. The Jonas Brothers loved Doug. Love the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, they're angels too. Still trying to get Doug and Taylor Swift, but oh shit! Can you? Can can you? I I don't know if I could do it though. Like I think I would be so scared and nervous of like how I would come off and just like I would overanalyze every little thing. That oh, I, said. I know. But Taylor just Taylor's such a she's a cat person. She too. is a cat mm -hmm. cat person, but she's also just like um. I feel like she seems like she could just hang. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's celebrities out there where you'd be, like, nervous, mm -hmm. where dogs are always a buffer, though. Like, dogs are oh. a buffer for meeting celebrities because how can you meet a dog and not be, like, pleasant and in a good mood? And I feel like Taylor would just be lovely. And Doug would be, like, dressed in all of her eras. And oh, absolutely. How, what, era, she... what era would Doug dress in? So, most recently, we did a lover video, and... uh well, no, it was Cruel Summer Bridge, the oh. Bridge of Cruel Summer, and yes. we reenacted all of it. But we did Evermore from the Eras yeah. tour, where he's like in the little cape from Willow I can't. with the the moon pumpkin thing, yeah. and it, we're insane. If you saw, if there was a hidden <laughs> camera and you saw Rob and I in front of the green screen, I'm holding him up, and Rob is True, trying to film. We're like, Dougie, Dougie, look! It, yeah, 
Oh, yeah. You guys should have a whole other, like, page on behind the scenes of how <laughs> we create. And Rob is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be the so well first of all it would it would make you realize how much work you guys do yeah it always blows my mind how many and I it's fine I don't like take it personally but when we're meeting just people out in public and they find out what we do or they may not know and they're like oh I should have done that with my dog or like You're oh like, must be nice to get so lucky like people say all these things and I'm like if only you knew. We don't. We work weekends. We work on Christmas. Oh, like yeah. it is a const. I mean, you know too. It's as a content creator in general, you are just. Um, it's it's not an easy thing. It's especially not if you want to be really good at it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, I tried to start a page for Pino and Ramen, and it just. I'm like, <laughs> this is a lot of work. <laughs> we we let the cats page go. Oh, dog, they're kissing. Oh, the honey. Oh, kitty, nice. Oh, that don't nice. Please lay and snuggle. Oh my God, can you? I imagine? would cry. Can you snuggle? Oh, isn't he sweet? Oh, there's a moment happening. Oh my God, sweet angel baby. Uh, wait, what were we just saying? Um, it's gonna be <laughs> how people say it's not hard work. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because I and I know I literally tried for ramen and pino, and I just after like two months of doing it, I was like, look, this is a big job because you got to be creative too and come up with different and concepts and keep up with the trends and, and then now have the, re the reels and the TikToks. Oh it's like the gosh. videos. It's it, it is a whole it, other other undertaking. It is a whole thing. But wow, it's really cool. And fun to watch, like, Doug grow as an influencer and just see the kind of different content you guys come up with. It's the most entertaining page to watch. Uh, and, I mean, I know we all have health scares with dogs, which you had one, which led to your next business venture. So yes. tell me about that as much as you probably don't like talking about it. Yeah, so several years ago, we Doug had horrible seasonal allergies, as yeah. most of our dogs do, especially in Tennessee. Especially in Tennessee. It's, like, so bad. Um, and so we took him to a vet and they gave him a prescribed pill for allergies. And yeah. it's a very common uh, 10 out of 10 dogs won't have a reaction to it. Right? right. And we had just so and this is, I believe, a universe thing because I had a feeling to just get some annual blood work for yeah. him. Yeah. And it just so happened to be a few days after that. And later that night, we noticed he had these really dark red patches on uh -huh. his stomach. And I was like, oh, my gosh, he's really been itching himself. And that night, after Rob took him to the vet for blood work, I got the call that our book became New York Times bestseller. Oh, shit. We threw a party. Yeah. It was just like this euphoric high, like nothing can go wrong. Yeah. And the next morning, I get a call from the vet, and they said, you need to take him to the emergency vet right now. His platelets <gasps> are life-threateningly low. Like, no. you cannot waste a minute. And so it was, oh, you must the world have been... came crashing down. Yeah. yeah, It was so scary, so horrible. And we took him, and they kept him for three nights oh. and told us that he had an autoimmune disease oh called gosh. ITP. And we're like, he, a week ago, he was just itchy right like, what do you mean he has an autoimmune disease and they're like yeah this happens and here's 15 different pills put them on this antibiotic yeah. this i mean he was a different dog for weeks after oh. that he lost so much weight he wouldn't like respond to me like he didn't want to cuddle and sleep you're like and this i'm like mine. this is not right yeah. not only did we just have this traumatic experience with his health but now i i feel i feel like i don't have my dog anymore yeah. And because of that, we kind of started to do some digging and trying to find some answers. And we got connected with this incredible woman named Rita Hogan. And she's a canine herbalist. Ah. And she was the only one to ask the questions of, did you give him a pill? And I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, I did. The vet didn't even ask if we had given him something. Right. It was just he has an autoimmune right. disease. And she did all this research and looked up this literature, and there's literally a one in 300,000 reaction where this can happen. Oh. It's like an allergic reaction to this pill. And so she, you know, did all this intake and was like, we can get him to be better than ever, actually. We just have to totally clean up his right. diet, his lifestyle, this and that. Hi, Dougie. <laughs> and we did. And, you know, that was six or seven years ago. And I can confidently say at that was, 11 oh, years old. That was old, six or seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So, the, okay, and at 11 years old? He's, like, the healthiest that we've ever 
seen him. See, I love that because, I mean, think about, you know, as a woman with issues with, you know, PMS and everything that you go through and the pain that you go through in your body, mm -hmm. how dismissed we are yes. if there are problems. And I feel like it's always the easiest thing to just go straight to, like, pharmaceutical companies and take a pill and do this or like it's probably nothing or oh it's an autoimmune disease right and nobody asks the right questions or cares to so when you find that with your dog and then you find somebody that actually cares mm -hmm. and then you see a difference in that it might even inspire you to you know go a different way in your own health journey too because you're like wait a second 100%. why is nobody paying attention to me yes and it, obviously there's a, a need for a mix right yeah. like Doug still goes to a, a traditional vet but yeah. that has roots in more natural medicine yeah that's so what ours do the same it's it's super important to have that balance yeah. but I just encourage people so much to keep an open mind to natural health with their dogs because I didn't think we were doing anything wrong right. before this health scare and yeah. the pill aside you know that was a freak thing but like Getting there's just so many things that pet owners can do every single day that can drastically improve the longevity Tell of their us dog's everything. life. So, for example, um, really high quality filtered water. So we mm. have this thing called the Berkey filter. Yes, oh, the Berkey. I love the Berkey. Love the Berkey. Yeah. Tap water contains so many, you know, PFA, all all of the things, chemicals, fluoride. It's not great for them. Well, because of you, I have my water system all filtered through the house. Good. Yes. yes. It's so important. Yeah. I mean, our skin is our biggest organ. It's so important to have, you know, really good quality water. So good quality water. I put blueberries in every meal for Doug. Really? They're so high in antioxidants. Yeah. And um, it's just been the research is showing that it's like one of the best things that you can put in their food. Just Mom, blueberries. you hear that voice? Blueberries for every meal now. We use parsley, fresh parsley, chopped up in Doug's food to help his breath. Okay, um, definitely taking that. Green-lipped muscle oil is really, really great for inflammation and in their joints. Um, what else? Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> Get your notes out. <laughs> mushrooms like reishi, shiitake, and turkey tail. Dogs respond incredibly well to mushrooms. It's a great anti-cancer preventative. Really? It treats things. I mean, it just helps so much with longevity. Um, and my, my absolute number one tip is fresh food and not kibble. Yeah. And yeah. obviously I don't want to tout that I'm an expert. I am not by any means. I have just learned a lot along the way. I bet. I highly recommend. There's a book by this man named Rodney Habib. Okay. It's called the forever dog. It says everything you need. He studies dog longevity for a living and so he teams up with vets can you get him as a po uh, podcast guest alicia okay yeah. yeah oh please yeah that would be incredible i just got chills yeah literally yeah really. i kind of yeah. did when he's, you said that too he is kind of my new like hero yeah. of just like following what he says yeah um rodney habib is incredible uh, rita hogan canine herbalist on instagram and yeah. facebook she's who we work with and she gives so much great advice uh dr karen becker Dr. Um, Judy Morgan, they really go in depth in a practical way of how we can just change little things. And it's not even a cost thing per se. Right. It's just we don't we're not taught what our pets need. And we're just told, oh, this is the food that the vet recommends. But in reality, like things have changed since we were kids and our parents had our dogs on kibble. Right. And that's what he gets into. Yeah. Um, but all of that being said, Doug's health scare really taught us what we also needed with personal care products. Yeah. Realizing, you know, this allergy pill can do this, but also shampoos are on the market. Yeah. Pet shampoos and being sold at Walmart and right. other places that have literally had lawsuits in the hundreds and thousands yes and for causing seizures and like killing it's, dogs yes it's actually crazy so i was at my girlfriend cat's house and we we're getting spray tans <laughs> and so i was like can i rinse off in your shower before we get a tan and she was like yeah i go in there and i i was like do you have body wash in there she said yes i used this lavender body wash i didn't even realize till i put it down it was for dogs and I did an Instagram story about it being like, oh, I still use this lavender soap for dogs. And immediately as I did that, Kat was like, 
don't even use that on yourself. She goes, I looked into this brand and it has caused seizures in dogs, this whole shampoo. Oh, shit. And everyone on my Instagram was like, tell her not to use that on her dogs. And I guess th- there was so many different stories mm. of this one dog soap that had caused death. Does it seizures? start with an H? Do you remember? I don't remember. Yeah. It's it's well, very I, scary. Can we say what it is so people don't get it? Yeah. I mean, we should. And they, we should they say what they should get? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's the brand is Hearts. H a r t z. Yes, it's orange. Um, that is exactly what it was. It's very cheap. Yep. yep. Um, but I mean, they also sell cat and dog flea and tick, and then the flea and tick shampoo. And it's I'm at the point where I'm like, come after me. I, like totally. I don't like it is. It is so clear night and day that this is a real problem that is happening for people and their dogs. And like no one would choose to have that kind of reaction for their baby. No. And when we buy something, we hope and we trust that the research and the development and, like, it, the last thing that you would ever want to happen is something bad. It's yeah. supposed to help. It's supposed to do something right. good. So all of that being said, my husband Rob and I have spent the last three years creating a dog wellness brand with the products that we want to see. Yeah. We want Doug to change the pet industry. Yeah. Like, if, like we're like, Doug, you met all the celebrities. Now you gotta change you yeah, gotta now clean it's time some to stuff change up. the world. You gotta do it, Doug. <laughs> um but it's called Noni Pup. Yes. And so right now we have a luminous lavender shampoo. <laughs> Not to be confused with Not, the body no, wash you no. used. <laughs> you would have been like, oh this is nice. It lathers. Yeah. You would have been like, okay, I'm keeping this for myself. Um we have Lucky Lemongrass and then we have two salves which were developed by Rita, the canine herbalist yeah. that helped Doug and boop butter is boop the first butter. <laughs> That's so uh, cute. for dry noses and dry paws Aww. helps hair regrowth Aww. we've literally gotten reviews already that it's a miracle product because it's helped dogs hair regrow after some wow. accidents yeah. or health conditions and then calm balm which is a salve that helps with um anything itchy and owie wounds um hot spots uh allergies i use it on myself you for, do for bug bites and things Amazing. and it's all human grade and it's what we again what we want to see out there I and think that's the important part is the human grade like for we always talk about um alicia and i and also i say this on my podcast where there's dog people and then there's dog, dog people it's like this is my child yes mm-hmm. and i i am i know there's so many listeners out there that are dog people um and i feel like that's the i just want to always like almost shove it down people's throats like do fresh food not kibble and i'm starting to learn more about um just certain products Mm because ramen and pino um both have terrible breath right now yeah um and you know everyone's like well that's because kibble um strengthens their teeth and i'm like you've been told that (laughs) but it's not true but i've like parsley i'm like genius Mm -hmm. i'm gonna start chopping up some parsley in their food there's so many different things so where is this product now on the market like that people can get it yes okay tell us where nonipup.com so it's n-o-n-i-p-u-p.com and we're on instagram at nonipup it's also if you just go on doug the pug you'll see it you'll see it um but we actually got a code for your followers (gasps) for 15 percent off for just your followers it's dog mom 15 and yeah just try out a a product or the bundle saves you money and again we just want good products that still work like yeah. these salves i've never seen something transform like doug we call it his nose job it's his celebrity nose job <laughs> when, <laughs> when he has a really dry nose it you know it looks cracked and right. dry and then we use boop butter for three days boop and it flakes off wow and reveals his nose job his new nose job <gasps> oh my gosh wait i gotta get some boop butter for the baby yeah oh that's so see because i like i will say about um uh nashville or tennessee with the allergies and stuff like even ramen right now just going ham on his foot i always feel so helpless because i'm scared to put them on anything ramen had a reaction to a flea and tick medication and had seizures Mm -hmm. and had those pink splotches oh no uh uh-huh and pooped himself and like fell over and i was like this is it like it was the most terrifying thing ever you can get my little my little rock star he, he's been through everything man that guy started from he's the streets so now here but yeah and i always get so scared so i love a more natural approach to some things like that and, oh my gosh they can get 15 percent off with um dog mom 15 yeah at that's so nice i'm gonna put that on my instagram too so that people can 
um, find it there as well if they didn't listen to this episode. But what is it? What's your saying? <gasps> oh, you don't have to be a celebrity dog to be pampered like one. Ah! <laughs> yes, Rob. <laughs> Rob came yes. up with that. He, he deserves that cred because we were like, <gasps> it was this moment epiphany. Um, it was one of those like you're like, that's it. That's the saying. That's the slogan. So I have a question for you. Ask me. Because your producer asked me, like, do you want to avoid any topics? And I, like, told her the topic that I want to avoid. But I also feel like we should almost bring light to the topic that I I'm going to say. Yeah. Do you get asked yes. what you're going to do when the dogs go? D-I-E? Yeah. So, well, obviously, they're not, like, what Doug is. But to you, they are are like but yeah but st well, yeah. what i'm what i'm getting at from that is i still get that question so i can't imagine oh my God. people asking you and sometimes i feel like people get nervous and don't know what to ask and things come out of their mouth where you're like are you gonna wake up in the morning and regret that because i hope you oh, do there there have been times i'm like he is staying up all night remembering what i he hope so because yeah. you never there's certain questions you don't ask you don't ask a woman if she's pregnant mm -hmm. You don't ask if what are you gonna do when your dogs die. You don't ask what are you gonna do if your kid gets in a car accident. Right. Like you're not you don't put their brain into doomsday. No. And and put that because you're like that is still my dog. That is, this is not just a product and a brand for me. Like that's still right. my baby. And it's so disrespectful to like put that on like for you for instance as a public figure to yeah. be like maybe she won't respond so like poised or you know it's yeah. like. To, to have to be composed when someone is asking you something so horrible is a really, really difficult and unfair Especially position if they're doing to be it in, in person. Didn't someone do that too at a live show? On stage. And I, so like, I don't mind being like public speaking when it's, you know, a conversational yeah. thing. Like, I love like a panel type thing. Yeah. But this was, I was like at a college and there were a few hundred people and I was like giving a presentation where it was like me speaking i had like little note cards it was like oh God. high school yeah. but scary you know yeah. yes <laughs> and this man at the end asked me that and my whole body just like uh, shut down exactly and feeling, people yeah. started looking at each other like <gasps> did he really just ask that and i still it's like a trauma you oh, know yeah. and we it's yeah so people don't ask that question do not ever ask no one that ever question. wants to be asked that question i mean that's like th that's literally putting your brain into worst case scenario and you're just like trying to do a speech and like talk to like right. people and then all of a sudden someone's like hey what about that the worst day ever <laughs> yeah. how does that make you feel you're like why would you ever ask me that and i think there's something so important and beautiful that dogs teach us which is to live every day yeah with them to the fullest because it is yes an inevitable horrible part yes but like if we turn that mindset into okay they're here with you know a portion of our lives but why don't we give them the absolute best life that we can and the best energy and just give them the best day every day yes instead of like thinking and it's hard i get into dark places i have oh, I health dark. anxiety yeah. and you know even just earlier doug has a zit and i <laughs> literally a little zit and i was freaking out because i was like i know is it bad and it's just it's I know. so scary it really i think a lot of pet owners who love their dogs like we do can relate to that mm -hmm. like anything any little thing like even if ramen's panting for too long yes and it's hot and it's just he needs mm -hmm. some water i'm like He's, he's got a heart murmur, and this is how he goes. And, like, my brain just mm -hmm. goes really dark and twisty. There's, like, I think about my dogs growing up. I loved my dogs growing up. And I I thought I could never love a dog like Tucker with when I was with Sean. Mm -hmm. And then I got these two, and I'm like, oh, so it just keeps getting, like, the love keeps getting crazier Aww. each dog. like I, But I am I really feel like Ramen is, a, is my soul dog. Soul dog. Like, I love Pino just as much as Ramen. But Ram and I'm like, you are actually put on this earth for me to, like, be here with you and vice versa. Like, look at him. Pino can be can off somewhere and Ram's like, I'll be right by right. my mom. They just stick with you. And it's, yeah. it's a, a very tethered thing. And I feel like that's how you are mm -hmm. with Doug. Okay, so there's a couple of small moments and actions that I try to take in my everyday just to make it a little bit better. Like making my bed, do it every morning. Messy bed, messy head, they say. Calling my sister or journaling or FaceTiming my niece and nephew. I text my family. Sometimes we FaceTime. Sometimes I wordle. Sometimes small daily actions just, I don't know, they make a big difference in my days. And when it comes to hair, a little goes a long way. I'm talking about way spelled O-U-A 
AI. So as I've talked about on the pod, I have pretty fine hair and I'm usually looking for a little more volume and no matter what your hair type is or what goals you might have, Way has what your hair needs. My hair feels so refreshed and full after using these products. I actually got so excited when they were going to be a sponsor on my podcast because I'm like, well, great, I already use them. And I have so many friends who feel the same way about their specific Way products for their hair goals. And if you're not sure what your type is, you can take their hair quiz. God, I love a quiz to find out exactly what will work for you. So they also have this amazing detox shampoo that gives your hair and scalp a deep cleanse to bring it back to life, which I love using this after I put my hair through a lot all the time. I always talk to Justin Anderson about the most important way to grow your hair and have healthy hair and it's scalp. So this special combination of clarifying apple cider vinegar and enriching keratin cleanses impurities, product buildup, hard water deposits, and more. So get on your way to healthier hair one day at a time with shampoos and conditioners that are just your type. Go to the way T H E O U A I dot com and use code Vine for fifteen percent off your entire purchase. That's T H E O U A I dot com code Vine. Switching gears like to your health because I think this is so important to talk on this podcast because obviously ninety eight percent of listeners are mm-hmm. females and go through so many issues with their you know hormones and what it, I always forget this word endometri and <laughs> every time I'm like. I'm going to get it. Endometria. Nope. Endometriosis. Endometriosis. It is a tongue twister. It really is. So you, you, for a long time, you were looking at if you had mold in the house, mm-hmm. you were looking at all these different things because of how much pain you were in and discomfort. Mm-hmm. And how did you discover that that's what it was? So from a very young age, I had really, really heavy periods. Yeah. I remember, and again, this is awesome that it's women- listening because it's like I can just say whatever and they'll be like yeah so my very first period of course I was on a trip away from my parents for the first time and then I got my period of course and I was going through heavy overnight pads every 20 minutes and I was like this is normal shit and it was very scary and it kind of regulated a little bit in high school but even my college roommates are like, no, you were really sick every time you had your period. I don't remember. Like, right. it's just kind of just a block. Just became your out, norm a too. normal thing. Sad. And then I got on birth control. And as soon as I decided birth control is not for me, I'm having some unwanted side effects. I really want to just like go with my natural cycle of being a woman. Yeah. I had all hell break loose. And the pain was just undeniably, absolutely horrific Um, unbearable unbearable started canceling weddings started canceling just life was revolving around not just the days of the period it was the two weeks before yeah I would start having the severe symptoms and so we got married in November of 2018 three weeks later I was getting my first surgery wow and we weren't expecting that so we got married went on a little trip and then a week later I got my period and it was like this is an emergency at this point wow and I had something called um a laparoscopic surgery where they cut like five little holes and they blow your stomach up with gas and they use these crazy instruments it's really remarkable like what they can do now yeah um but it's an ablation surgery so there's two different types in endo one is ablation where they burn off the tip think of it as um a tree yeah they took the tree down but the roots were still there yeah and so i got this surgery we're like yay okay she found that i have endo and something called a chocolate cyst i should get a lot better wrong it came back with a vengeance which it tends to do with ablation i've met women that have had 27 surgeries Uh, what just every year they just get a new surgery god and I got so much worse and there is an incredible, incredible community on Instagram of I bet. women with endo and they are fighting. They are going to Capitol Hill to fight for more, wow. you know, reform with because there's no money being put in um, one in 10, more than one in 10 women have endo. Yeah. And yet there's no money being poured into research mm-hmm. to help us. And in 2022, in January, I went to L.A., and had surgery with a specialist, Dr. Iris Orbuck. And she has an incredible book, if you're listening, Beating Endo. I wish I had read that years ago. It has yeah. everything you need to know, even holistic things, just while you're trying to heal up for the surgery. 
And she was honestly in horror because she was like, you had endo everywhere and it's been there for years and years and years and years and years. And I don't know how this first surgeon didn't tell you how bad you had it. But she got all of the, and I have chills. She got all of the endo and I am having periods that are pain free. And it's like, it's literally that's life changing. Yeah, it's life changing. It's even just like being here right now and saying that it's like, I can't help but get a little emotional because I can't believe that I've gotten to the place where I can talk about this like it's in the past. Yeah, because you've lived with this for Mm -hmm. so long. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you thought was wrong with you. And, and you're the sitting, doctors are like, and the doctors, yeah. You just need to have have a baby. The ba- having a baby will cure it. Oh, like get on this pill. Oh, try this. And it's like, I felt crazy. I was yep. so invalidated. Yeah. The medical trauma that comes yep. from that. Um, not even just from male doctors, from female doctors that are one of some of the best gynos in right. Nashville. You know, yeah. the the relief that you must feel mm-hmm. now. Because you're like, this is what it's supposed to be. I'll, I'll never forget one of the best gynos I ever had looked at me and she was like, it's not supposed to be like this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, because you just live your whole life being like, well, I got to deal with this every month. I Because I have PMDD mm-hmm. and then Same. I've been tested for um, PCOS mm-hmm. because I have all of the PCOS symptoms. Um, so that on top of that, and that is what creates really painful periods for me like I I am in severe pain every month I uh, go into a very dark depression for about five days Mm -hmm. before um and ever it's just like you you think that a doctor you just go to any doctor and they'll go oh well this is what it is here's a fix and but no you have to go through so much in your life to get Mm -hmm. to a place where you're freaking pain free every month like what and you have to do so much of your own research yeah and that's the the parallel with our pets too it's like i had to literally enlist all these other people and and do research that you know you would trust that other medical professionals but there's something really empowering about being your own advocate and and getting to the finish line and being like i like you know i had help but i bet on myself and that's the other thing the medical system is so messed up we had to pay completely out of pocket for that surgery and wow. so it was and so women that are doing this 27 times ex- they it and the people can't afford that is covered under insurance the excision with a specialist wow. is not yeah and so we feel incredibly grateful that we were in the financial position to you know have our life savings go into and it worked yeah but there's so many people that don't get that opportunity and I'm very grateful for the people on you know online that are fighting and going to Capitol Hill there's an incredible documentary too um called below the belt that just aired really um yeah it's Hillary Clinton is behind it all these amazing people people are so there's there's congresswomen that are fighting for it yeah um but yeah so anyone who's listening and you're struggling with pain um just know it is not normal yeah. And to keep fighting for answers and to yeah. keep searching because healing is possible. I remember when before my surgery, I had people come in my DMs and they meant well. Yeah. But they told me, don't get your hopes up too high because I had the surgery and I'm still in pain. And, you know, just just so you know, it doesn't work for everyone. You're like. Thanks yeah, like, for cool. the words of encouragement. <laughs> I'd be like, Rob. Like, oh, my god! <laughs> you said this. But, you know, I, I just truly believed that I I could get to the other side of it. And with, with the right specialists and the right research and, um, you know, again, it, I'm very fortunate. But I just don't want people to, to be in that mindset of maybe it won't work for me but what if it does yeah because also i will say to those people the brain is also a powerful thing Mm -hmm. that if you have that attitude like you don't put that in somebody else's brain you know you don't i I feel like that's a lot of this podcast today is (laughs) my takeaways are don't put something in someone's brain that's negative Mm -hmm. tell them you hope that this works for them because there are possibilities and there are people out there that this has worked for Mm -hmm. that they understand what you're going through because they've been there too And my other takeaways are do your research, be your own advocate for yourself, for your dog, for your cat, whatever pet you own, and know that there's 
a community out there of people that have either endo or PCOS. Mm-hmm. Like there's always a podcast to listen to or a page to follow or a community to be a part of on Facebook or wherever. What the matter, <laughs> Doug? Um, oh, Dweedy! Facebook groups are incredible. Yeah. Because yeah. all of these people in the groups have gone through it themselves, have tried have gone to the doctors and so I encourage people even if you're having like a friend of mine is having a gallbladder issue right now I'm like join a Facebook group yeah. about gallbladders yes. and she's getting help because you get so much information that you wouldn't have got even from a doctor yeah and it's just yeah so I anybody listening I mean the that book would it tell me the book again it's called beating endo by dr iris orbuck beating um, endo it's on amazon I highly recommend it and then there's the documentary um yeah, below, below the, belt. the belt. Where is that? What is that on? I would just Google it. It's they're hoping to get it like on Netflix, yeah. you know, but they're they're working on it. I think it's available on their website to stream. And now all of your products are going to be in the one hotels. Yes, the Noni is- Pup is going to be in their pet care packages. So when you're checking in to any of the Noni Pup or <laughs> to any of the one hotels in North America, um they might offer you a little noni pup. That for is. Your dog. Do you understand that the one hotels are like that? That is my the happy best. place. Yes. Yeah. I know. Can you want to come up here with me? Can you? Oh, 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 you baby. Oh, you baby. Hello, honey. Hello, sweetie. Oh, Rami's going to get jealous. I know. Okay, I'll give you some love, too. Okay. Oh, I know. What's, to what's, great, what's great is that we're all done. Come here. Um, okay, the one hotels. That's just yeah. like one of the coolest. That would be like my ideal place to get my wine. Like I would be like, that's yes. like the best place. They have the highest quality thing. So good for you guys for doing that. Thank you. Yes. I really appreciate it. It's, so cool. it's very exciting. And we're just really trying to put out there just the best um, partners and people to work with that totally. like really align with our mission. And they, yeah. they totally do. But I have a question for you. Ask me. Are you going to work on music anytime soon? That's something that I... I just like want you at your it st- does feel like a calling mm-hmm. for me yeah um i've talked to a lot of <laughs> rob's like we have a studio at you home do? And, yeah. yeah right okay yeah. yeah okay because i honestly have been feeling like that is like every time i do it i go why am i not doing this more mm-hmm. it's one of the things dancing and singing are like two things that really fill my cup with overflow with like it's yeah. it really does something for my soul and I think I get, you know, it's just one of those things that I've talked about on the podcast before that I just total um, imposter syndrome with, and I'm sure you can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, but it's, I'm like, I always preach to people who cares and do it scared. And if you like, but, but then to do it yourself, I'm I, like, but I, maybe I won't. And it's hard in Nashville yeah, because yes. everyone is incredible and touring and like very successful. Totally. But I, I just, I just see it for you really i do i've i since I, all the most intuitive people in my life have said this to mm-hmm. me and you are a very intuitive oh, thank you person yeah, i i see it for you i even just to share my own experience i've felt so similar with imposter syndrome for music and as of last year i started doing a thing on instagram where i sing to doug i know i'm obsessed and i was so afraid the, the first video that I posted was like, people are going to hate this. But it was like, okay, I'm combining all of the things that I love and I'm getting to do music. And it has totally opened up a new part of me where I feel confident now to yeah. like go to karaoke. And I'm like <gasps> singing and I'm like, oh my God, I have music back. Yeah. And then Rob Rob is a music producer and does, you know, has bands I and artists. I love watching your drumming time. videos. <laughs> that is so badass. But it, it fulfills a part that I didn't know and it has helped me heal from like my pain yes and there is because it's therapeutic and it to some people it really does it's like a dog it takes you to a higher frequency it opens something up within you that you didn't know you were missing and to write a song because I've written songs about endo yeah and like it is more healing to write something and listen to it and then have other people relate to it yeah than like anything else because music is such a thing that brings people together and it could be about one thing for you and your lyrics could impact somebody about something else that's going on in their life and that's the cool thing about music yeah your inner child reads it too oh 
Oh, you're gonna make me cry now. My inner child needs well, it. Sorry, it's, yeah. True. It's, it's such a music connector. it is yeah. i mean babies from uh, you, they hear music in the womb and come mm -hmm. out liking music and already move to it without even knowing what they're doing that's yeah. so true and just i think that way about that. dance too mm -hmm. yeah dancing. i saw your dance video recently i'm obsessed i You're love so, dancing i mean so i'm like much. looking at your mirror ball i know my little i'm about to see ball. bindi Irwin, who <gasps> also won we're going yes! to, we're going to australia in like 10 days well that reminds me <laughs> Have you ever played Crocodile Dentist? No. Oh, no. Okay. So. <laughs> it's just a little game I like to play with my guests. So okay. since you're going to Australia, is this, like, so stereotypical of me to be like, the crocodiles, crikey, crikey. <laughs> um, you're seeing Bindi Irwin. Mm hmm Okay. If you, s okay. Whoever wins this game, if you lose... You have to FaceTime me with Bindi Irwin and tell her that she's that I'm a better dancer than her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I lose, I have to come to Australia. <laughs> um, if I lose, I don't know. You can decide. Okay. Take a tooth. Go with your intuition. No, you have to push it down. Okay. I know you just push it. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> yes! Bindi! <laughs> oh. Do I really? She's on so she's on croc trip. What's that? that? They were there like tagging the croc. She's like literally like with the real crocodiles right now. So she's Do you wanna bring her this and say, <laughs> Hey, this is for your bedroom for, beside your mirror ball. For her daughter. So on a side note, yeah. I We've connected with the Irwins for a while over Instagram. They have a pug. Oh, I, okay. Steve was my Sweet. hero and oh, Terry when I yeah. was young. Um, just oh, love them. They're the most wholesome, authentic, incredible animal advocates. Totally. A year ago, exactly, I got a text from Robert Irwin saying, hey, my sister Bindi might have what you had. Do you mind talking to oh. her? She, I was able to help her get in touch with people and – she came to America for months with her whole family, mm -hmm. her daughter, her husband, mom, Robert, and she underwent the excision surgery, took the bet of – she had never oh. gotten the confirmation that she has it. She was told for 10 years that she had um, IBS and Crohn's and all these things because she was Stop. having gastro symptoms. That's the thing. Doctors will tell you, oh, it's, it's not endo, but it is. And she had, what was it, 38 lesions? of endo all over her her abdomen inside Holy. and she is now pain free wow. and like living this new life and so this is basically our celebration where we're gonna go and she and i are gonna cool. get to be like woo no period pain, 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 pain free, free, free. Honey. <laughs> yeah. i love that yeah. so it's like a very um symbolic and who knows maybe i will cr wrestle with a real crocodile um Seen as your reaction from a fake one, I'm not sure that would be a good idea. <laughs> but I, I will be looking for the content. Where can everybody follow you guys and find you and Doug and all of the things? You can follow me personally at Leslie Mosier, L E S L I E M O S I E R. Doug is on Instagram as it's Doug the Pug. On TikTok is Doug the Pug. And then Noni Pup, our new dog wellness yeah. brand with holistic products that are clean and safe and work so well is at nonipup.com and you can use code dogmom15 to try out your first product. I love it. What a legend. Thank Doug, you so it's much for having time. us. It is dinner time. He's like <laughs> He's ready like, to go. He's like, bitch, I need my blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. It's always so always nice talking so to you guys. To and then you. having Doug in, in the studio is just a whole <laughs> other level of happiness. I mean, Thanks, Doug. You were such a good, you were oh. so good. I'm Caitlin Bristow. Your session is now ending. And if I'm being honest, I wouldn't mind a rating and review. <laughs>